Welcome to my allotment, Plot 3 North Warwickshire, the March tour and vegetable harvest. I've kept my vegetables uh, in pots and in the ground and I just want to see how they're getting on. As you can see the rhubarb's doing quite well and all the other plants are getting to grips with spring and started to uh, bud. Even the current bushes that are moved, they're doing okay. But a lot of these bushes, they, uh, the more you abuse them, they, uh, the more that they survive. So they're looking good. As you can see, even though I've taken all the raspberry canes out of uh, the fruit cage, we still got get those uh, volunteers. So that'll be one of the jobs, get rid of those. We're now on this year's bean bed. So that's the bed one. And we've even got flowers on the first lots uh, of uh, broad beans. Unfortunately, the mice took all the broad beans seeds, which means I've got a few gaps. But as you know, I've been spending a lot of time elsewhere. Still on bed one. This is the permanent spot for the Jerusalem artichokes. And out of one seed that size, you get those and you get those. I've just literally pulled that out of the ground. But one thing I can say about Jerusalem artichokes is that I should have started picking them sooner. I do like them raw and we do like them roasted. And they're going down a treat at work. And I've been lucky enough to find another five or six uh, root balls. Which uh, I'll probably use as a mulch over the... Uh, new garden on plot one. Hopefully the slugs won't like the Coco Koi. Bed two, this year's brassica, all nicely cleared, ready for the cage move. Now does anybody want to see the cage move? I've got other videos but this is the first time I'll be moving the one that I actually sewed the netting together. Let me know and I'll do a quick video on that, a bit of time lapse. Let's go and have a look in the onion cage. The carrot boxes are going to stay in the same place. I must empty them out. They're still in a bit of a mess. My red onions are doing quite well. The onions were grown here at, at last year and I'm growing them again here this year. This is the only place I didn't get any problems with the leaf miner. Once I've cleared the Swedes, this is where the leeks are going. So again, hopefully because I haven't got the uh, moth in here and hopefully I can keep the moth out, it'll be an ideal place for them. Last year, remember, I got them caged up, but the moth must have been trapped inside and it decimated the whole crop. So hopefully we've got a few good uh, Swedes to harvest today. We're in bed three, last year's brassicas. Unfortunately now, they're just going to seed. The kale, that is. But I'm going to get the last few pickings of that. Absolutely overwhelmed with the red cabbage this time. These didn't do so well. As you can see, one or two have come and I've still got two green cabbages. This is the peach tree that started growing in the onion cage last year. Don't know whether it'll do any good.
<laughs> it's only a small one. Probably get a little meal out of it. Oh, ideal for salads. Love red cabbage in saddles, salads. I do need to get the cage moved because I need to dig this because this will be the roots for this year. Bed one. This is the uh, for my main crop. Remember, I did my mix, so the surplus went into these. So all I've got to do is just open the bottom up, plant the first two potatoes, put some more compost in, two more potatoes, and that'll do. Parsnips aren't going to be moved either, haven't got time, but they need emptying out and a few little goodies put in right at the bottom. And I'll be pulling these parsnips out to see how they look in March. Main crop will go here in the dumpy buckets. And I've took a chance and I've put my shallots here. And all my onions are going to get a feed of potassium. That's the banana liquid plant food concentrate. Let's see how they do. Shan't do them all just in case. Uh, I'd get it wrong. And there's a pea. The salad bed. I'm conscious that I need to uh, get the comfrey out to put onto uh, plot one. But I also want to know whether the underground worm farms are working. So that's another video I need to squeeze in before my salad crops are ready to go in the ground. I'm pondering whether to, <laughs> pondering, to remove the pond when I build it on plot one, but I'm just conscious that any frogs that do live here will need a home. So I might just revamp it a little bit and keep it where it is. My first sowing of peas hoping that the mice can't crawl up those lampshades the street lamps to get to those peas but I have killed or should we say caught it's not a nice word is it 24 mice and the traps have stayed bare for quite a while now small seed potato experiment shop bought potato peel challenge and it's the rocket. Doing quite well. First early's rocket. Black currants taken on the 29th of January. Some cuttings from the indoor grate that I've got here. And my leeks, the muscle borough. Hopefully there's enough there. I'm going to see what we've got in these carrot buckets. I've purposely left them here till March, but I'm emptying them all out today, just to see how they've kept. Have a little look in the grow room. Well, Mick, your beetroot have popped the heads up and it won't be long before I'm actually planting those in the polytunnel and I must get my second earlies and main cro crop up here to get them chitting so in here we've got some early nantis And I've planted some of my sweet candles. And in here we've got two buckets left from my second earlies last year. Well, they're either King Edwards or Desiree, so we'll find out shortly. The pepper died. Of course it did. Right, I'll get all the vegetables out, cleaned up, and we'll see what we've got. I've removed the potatoes from that bucket and washed them. They're all the same, King Edwards, and as you can see, they are chitting, which is exactly what you would expect. The uh, washed ones look like this. 
the parsnip which is a gladiator a little little bit soft not much but the red cabbage not even touched by the slugs or club root these are the carrots at that bucket which the mice had if you remember and then muddy boots made a good suggestion that uh, it wouldn't hurt once they've died back a bit is to put a bit of wire mesh on the top just so the mice can't get in autumn king which are fed with the uh, wormery fail and then we've got uh, nantis 5 done at the end of the seventh month that july no good at uh, figures but what a crop they are so there's still three buckets up there and that's where they'll stay for another month i'll get all the potatoes out not the chits off and uh, i'll put them back in that tub but they are still firm the potatoes are still really good right I'll give these a bit of a wash off and we'll see what we've eventually got. Well, that's my harvest. And look at those colours. Makes you proud to be a gardener. The artichokes have just started to root. So a note in the diary, need to get all the artichokes out before March. But other than that, even the Swedes are still nice and firm and the carrots I do need to get them in the pots a lot earlier so that they get good growth rather than that I'm really pleased with March take care my friends happy gardening to you all I'd like to thank all the new subscribers comments and the views I'm amazed at how many views I've had in one month ta for now just a quick thank you to Jenny for sending the uh, blue pumpkin seeds and to Andy and Karen who sent me some sarpomira seeds that he saved so that'll be an interesting one We'll check their channels out. Happy gardening!